often when you go to a local store and buy something, you only feel one feeling, excitement. And in some occasions, that excitement truly pays off. In the case of Skylanders, that is certainly true. And with most of them being readily available in the secondary market, any new Skylander you can purchase could become your next favourite. While some Skylanders live up to people's expectations, others are left to rot in storage boxes. Portal Masters, welcome to Skylanders Code First Impressions. Even though it's the first Skylanders game I ever played, for some reason the designs of the Swap Wars Skylanders always put a weird taste in my mouth. It's not that they're bad, in fact, most of them are pretty good. It's just isn't exactly what I think of when I hear the words Skylanders. I mean, how could you go from such simplistic yet amazing designs like a gremlin with two golden guns, a skeleton with robotic armor, and an eagle with a vacuum cleaner, to a biker rhino, a literal beetle, and... Okay, you know what, that's actually cool. So today, to tentatively celebrate Swap Force's odd designs, we'll be looking at Duneberg, Zulu, and as kind of what I'm really excited for, Rubble Rouser. Like last time, all of these opinions of those calendars are not final, they are just my first impressions. And I'll rate them out of 5 on how much I like them, with 1 being a Skylander that I'm not entirely interested in, and 5 being a Skylander that I'll definitely make sure to upgrade in due time. Now, let's look at Stuneberg first. Back when one of my cousins owned the Skylanders games, I used to play Duneberg a lot, mainly because a secondary attack could roll enemies away, which was really fun. But that's ultimately where you'll only have fun with this guy, because his primary attack is really unremarkable. It's just a standard beam ability that does pretty decent damage, and that's it. Though he might be a lot more enjoyable when playing with a friend, as it stands, I kinda just find Duneberg forgettable. The reason why I'm saying this is because, although shiny, his design is just a humanoid beetle with a rather forgettable staff. And aside from some bland Egyptian references, Duneberg doesn't really have a personality to speak of. So really, the only reason why I like Duneberg is simply because of his secondary move. As the rest of his factors is just ineptly thrown together to create one unfortunate mediocre experience. While not deeply complex, in-game and conceptually, at least I had fun with Duneberg. And if I have fun with his calendar, then I am more than happy. I remember I bought Zulu once, only to lose him a few days later, and that was honestly really tragic for me at the time. But now that he's back to permanently be part of my Skylanders collection, I finally feel complete. So what about the Skylander himself? Um, Yeah, he's honestly nothing special. In terms of design, he's just a humanoid bear with another generic staff. And looking at his design, he doesn't even look like a Skylander to me. He looks more like a rejected character from LEGO The Legends of Chima. Does anyone remember Chima? No, just me. His attacks aren't anything to write home about either. For his primary move, he can summon some green bird projectiles, which I guess is really good for long range, but ultimately come across as a bit uncreative. I can only really compliment his secondary move by saying that it exists. He just summons a green wolf that does very minimal damage. As a result, I just spam his primary attack, making him a one-trick pony. Uh, for now, at least. So on your first playthrough, Zulu may come across as boring, but with upgrades, hey, maybe he'll be a lot better. Only time would tell. Despite his unpopularity, I've been excited to get Rubble Rouser for a very long time. So, did he live up to my expectations? Yes! His secondary move may require enemies to stand right in front of him, but it causes a knockback, so all the more worth it. His main hammer attacks are really powerful as well, which on a third hit could cause a knockback as well. In my spare time, I also bought his third hammer slam attack, 
and while a bit sluggish, it does the job perfectly. So far, I've enjoyed my experiences with Rubble Rouser, and with a few more upgrades, he'll be a force to be reckoned with. It's that moment that you've all been waiting for, my final thoughts. Despite finally adding him back to my collection, Zulu was such a disappointment. All you really get is a scanner with a basic design and basic moves. Not worth your time unless you're willing to go through upgrading him. Then we have Duneberg. He's a perfectly enjoyable Skylander if you're starting out with the games, but if you want a Skylander that's complex, then look somewhere else. So at the podium today, we have Rubble Rouser. All I can say is that he's a hidden gem waiting to be bought to enact his duties to his portal master, and with some fine tuning, playthrough will be an absolute breeze. Unfortunately, this video has come to an end, and I hope that I gave you good recommendations for your next calendar's purchase. But do you agree or disagree with me? I'm open to any opinions. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. If you've been watching Code First Impressions, you might have noticed that we haven't looked at any Skylanders from Superchargers or Imaginators yet. Fortunately, I'm here to say that next episode, we break that draught. See you next time. Well, where did I go? Whoa! Whoa, wait! Whoa! Whoa! I glitched! Whoa, you can't see me! What, what happened to me? What happened to me? I'm literally nothing!